Hello. In this video, we are going to look at this coding bat problem from arrays one called max triple. So let's dive in. Given an array of ints of odd length, this is important, of odd length, there it is. Look at the first, the last, and the middle values in the array and return the largest. The array will be at least one. Okay, so if we take a look at our examples, we see in the first case, if we pass one, two, three, the largest is three and it returns three. One, five, three, the largest is five and return five. Five, two, three, the largest is five and return five. Now this, this, these examples are kind of deceiving because you might go and solve this problem assuming that the array is of length three, but it's not, it can be any size. And so because it can be any size, what we need to do is we need to actually pull out the length and use the length to find the last element and the middle element. So I'm going to do what I like to do is I'm going to make an integer called len and it's going to be nums.length because now I have the length at my fingertips. So what am I going to do? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to calculate the middle index. So how do I do that? So if we take a look at an example here, let's put like, let's make an array and let's say the array has, I don't know, three, four, six, seven, eight. Remember, these arrays are always odd length. And so that's index zero, one, two, three, four. So if I look at this, I see that the length of that example is going to be five. So the question is, how do we get the middle index two? And we notice that the mid index is going to equal the length divided by two. Now, this is important. Len divided by two is integer division. Since the length of an array is an integer, and this two is an integer, Java will assume you want an integer. And that actually works to our advantage because five divided by two is actually 2.5 from a mathematical perspective, but we want index two. And so remember what in integer division does is it chops off the decimal. So the next thing I do is I'm gonna make another int called mid index, and that's gonna be equal to the length divided by two. And now we just have to do a couple condition statements. So we're going to say if nums at zero is greater than nums at mid index. So basically is the first element larger than the middle element and is the first element larger than nums at the last element, we return at zero. So basically is the first element larger than the last element, the middle element, and is the first element larger than the last element. Now I can have an index out of bounds error here because it's not length, is length minus one. So now let's check the middle element. So if nums at mid index is greater than nums at zero, and nums at mid index is greater than nums at length minus one. Well, in this case, we return nums at mid-index. Now, the temptation here might be to write another if statement, but we don't need to, because if the first element isn't the largest and the middle element isn't the largest, that means the last element must be the largest. So we're just going to say return nums at mid, sorry, nums at length minus one. And there we go. So if I go here, Tells me I've forgotten a semicolon right there. I hit go here. What's my problem? Oh, I spelled nums wrong. Where is that? There it is, nums. Okay, third time's a charm. Oh, maybe not. I spelled nums wrong again. Okay, let's go through this. Uh, nums. What line? Line 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So somewhere in here. You see it? Any other ones? I could redo this video, but I'm going to keep this to show you it's real. I actually sometimes miss these things, and there you go. Now, this is one way to solve this, but let me show you a really nice way, another way that you might do this, taking advantage of the, the math function. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this in a second, and then start over again. I misspoke. It's actually the math class where we use a function in the math class. So there's a really nice function in the math class called the max method. And what it does is I can pass it two pro two values. I can pass it two integers or two doubles, and it returns the larger of the two values. So I could do something like this, int max equals math.max, and I'm going to pass it nums at 0 and nums at it index. So what this will do is it will find the larger of the mid index and nums at 0. And then all I do is I say int, I say max, I'm going to, is math.max, and I'm going to pass the max backs into it because basically the max is going to store the larger of, of these two. And I'm going to compare it to nums at length minus one. And then I return the max. And this is a nice little kind of shortcut to solving this problem. Taking advantage of the math.max function is a really useful, useful thing. Now, if you really wanted to condense this, let's just have some fun here. I could actually take this math.max here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste this in for my second parameter. This is starting to get a little bit harder to read. So let's, but let's, let's do it just for fun. So what's happening here? We're taking the max of these two, and then we're putting it into this position. And then we're going to take the max of these two, store it into max, and then return max. And it should, oh, Ah, oh, there's a mistake here. That should be nums at mid index. There we go. That's better. Now let's condense this even more, just because, you know, why not? So if we want to condense this even more, I could make this just a straight, I could get rid of this and just straight return it. Now, if I wanted to condense it even more, I could get rid of these two variables, and I could actually come in here and say nums.length divided by 2, nums.length minus 1, and there it is in one line. That semicolon actually doesn't matter, but there we go. Now, just a, just a point. There's no need to do this. This is actually, as this is fun. It helps you kind of understand things, but it's actually a really bad way to code because it's really hard for someone to read that. Um, so have fun. Try and write these in one line. It, it, it is a good exercise in skills development, but bear in mind you really have to think about readability when you're writing code. This is not particularly readable. And with that said, have a wonderful day. Take care.